Well guys, welcome back. Here we are outside. I'm in the garage right now. Um, just building the stand for the 120 gallon tank that I'm building right now. That's actually all siliconed and drying, curing downstairs in the basement. Here's where the doors are gonna be. Here are the two doors that I just finished making. Got quite a bit of work to do. Stay tuned, you guys don't wanna miss any upcoming videos. I know you guys wanna see the finished product. So go ahead and subscribe right now if you haven't subscribed already. And thanks very much for all of you guys that have subscribed. Hey guys, what's up? Leo Pozzo, you know what it is, that's the channel. Thanks very much for tuning in. Right here, you're looking at the custom made stand that I made for the 120 gallon tank that I made. Uh, we still have the sump to build and uh, still grab some of the equipment and whatnot, drill the tank, install the overflow box. But right now, uh, the stand is all pretty much built and we're ready to start staining this bad boy. So you can see that uh, I vacuumed up the area around me where I'm working, where I was doing all the woodworking. So it's all dust free for the most part. I got my uh, min wax stain right here which is called uh, ebony which is a nice dark uh, color brown so uh, i've stained a uh, few stands this color before with some happy clients so i'm definitely just going to stick with the same one as uh that's what they wanted they requested a nice dark color chocolatey brown oak stand so here we are you can see here we have a nice little ledge about a three and a half inch ledge so you can rest your uh, fish food or whatever you want your drink on top of here uh, we got some crown molding underneath here as well. Uh, we got some uh, three quarter inch ply around the outside with a nice piece of finished trim here onto the corner. Uh, we got some uh, oak doors, three quarter inch oak doors trimmed up with some uh, back band uh, molding trim around the edge of the door itself. And we have uh, some three quarter inch solid oak <coughs> uh, wood trim here as like a baseboard finished trim. So that's pretty much the stand. You can see here inside, Pretty, I framed it up with some uh, two by six as some uh, support header beams and they're resting on two by fours, which are in the corner. You can see right there, the two by fours are in the corner. And um, I put a middle brace here and I avoided having a middle brace in the middle here in the front. That's why I went with the two by six header so I can avoid having the brace here in the middle. And um, that way it's nice and strong. There will be no bow as a 2x6 is uh, strong enough. And you can have a nice open area here when you open up the doors to place in your sump and work nice and comfortably. Uh, the back is all fully open. Circulation purposes, just to get some air circulation within the stand from the back of it. You can also always uh, potentially drill or cut a hole or square here on the side and install some vents if you wanted to have some extra ventilation. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on. I'm getting ready to stain this bad boy, so stick with me, guys. You guys definitely want to see the finished product of the stand and tank. Um, I got some work to do ahead of me, and I'm bringing you guys along the way, as promised and as always. All right, you can see that I've already started staining the stand. I've done the one side here so far, the right-hand side of the stand. Uh, that's just one coat. I got to do another coat, a few coats here. It does uh, apply pretty dark the first time, but I just got to make sure that it uh, really sinks in and sets into the wood and absorbs the stain. I'm just going to work my way across here the stand, and uh, before you know it, I'll be all done, let it dry, and then I'll be able to do another coat or two, depending on how it looks. I'm just going to take my time and make sure that I do. Make sure you don't miss any of those spots like that in between there. Obviously, it's not done. I'm just showing you guys that this one panel is just about done and I'm gonna continue working my way across. Well guys, here is the finished product of the stand for the 120 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. It's been uh, stained three coats. There's the front, we've got the two doors, we've got the side here. I even stained the inside. Well guys, there you have it. The oak stand for the 120 gallon coral reef fish tank. Custom made stand for the custom built tank. Here are some before and after pictures now that you guys saw the finished product. I applied three coats of stain and also three coats of polyurethane clear coat. 
as it is very important to have a nice finished clear coat on the stand as it will be around water. You'll also notice that I stained the inside of the stand as well and hopefully you guys learned a few tips and tricks along the way such as using a 2x6 header front and back to avoid having a center brace so you can fit a large sump comfortably from the front of the tank by just opening up the doors. I also mentioned previously in the video some of the materials needed to build this stand along with the procedure and steps that I did to have this finished product. All in all guys, thank you very much for watching Leo Pozzo TV. If you guys have any comments, questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below of this video and also feel free to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much guys and we'll see you guys next time.